This is the regular. Oh. It's not anything bad. All right, the main important thing I want you guys to understand is multiplying, dividing, and so forth. Um, you know, you're just following your operations. Well, dividing, we can't really divide this into that, all right? So what we like to do is simplify it, and we simplify it by rationalizing the denominator. We don't want to divide an expression by e irrational, right? Because you can't take the square root of 3x, 7x, right? So rather than saying we can divide by an irrational number, we're going to rationalize the denominator. So we're going to multiply by the square root of 7x on the top and the bottom. Again, if you guys remember multiplication, here, this becomes, here, I can't multiply inside the radicand because that's not a, that doesn't have a radical, right? So you can't multiply to the inside. So that is 3x square root of 7x. All over here, though, I can multiply these together. So that becomes the square root of 49x squared. Well, we know that the square root of 49 is just 7, and the square root of x squared is just x. So my simplified answer would be 7x, or 3x. Then we see that our um, variables divide out. So I'm left with a final simplified answer of 3 times the square root of 7x divided by 7. OK? That's it. That's it. Oh. So well, I'll tell you guys what to do. I'll at least tell you what to multiply by. Here, I want you guys to understand that whenever you have a square root over a square root or a square root over a fraction, you multiply here. Right? But the remember, guys, see why this worked? Is when you multiply these, let's, let me write this another way. This becomes 7 squared x squared. Just another way to write it. Do you guys agree with this? Can you take the square root of 7 squared? Yes. yes. Can you take the square root of x, x squared? Yes. Yes, yes Logan. <laughs> Let me go over this example real quick. So ladies and gentlemen, if you just multiply by the same thing, 5x squared like you did over there, right? If I just multiply by the cube root of 5x squared, just random, just do the same denominator like I did over there. 5 times 5 gives me 5 squared. Can I take the cube root of 5 squared? No. No, you can only take the cube root of 5 cubed. Does x squared times x squared give me x to the fourth? I can take the, square, I can take the cube root, but I'm still going to have an x left over, correct? So what we want to do is multiply only by a, denom by a fraction that's going to give us exactly what we need. Do you guys see that? Because now my denominator is the cube root of 5 cubed x cubed. Okay. Sure. What do you, mean? you say, are you allowed to do that? Yeah. Guys, any fraction, any fraction, as long as you multiply the top and the bottom by the same, it doesn't matter what you multiply by. Right? Instead of 5x squared, you're multiplying by 5 squared x. Because what, what happens when I do that? I get 5 cubed and x cubed, which since I'm doing a cube root, that's what I need to take the cube root of. Right? If you just did 5x squared, you would have had 25x to the fourth, which you can't take the even cube root of. Right? I only gave you guys one practice on them, but if you need further explanation, let me know. Wait, so the, the one where it's all under the radical, that's equal to the problem you just did? What? This? That's equal to what you just did. Yeah. That's the answer. No, no, no. Logan was saying, was it possible? And I said, it doesn't matter. Whatever, as long as you multiply a fraction, the same number in top and bottom, you're going to get equivalent fractions. So it doesn't matter what you multiply by. I chose to multiply by this rather than 5x squared, or cube root of 5x squared, because multiplying by this gives me a cubed radicand I can take the cube root of. I didn't know they were equal. I don't, I didn't know they were the same thing. What do you mean they're the same thing? 5x squared 5x They're not the same. They're totally different. You don't have, that's what I'm saying. You don't have to multiply by the same thing. Sure. All right. Let's do this one. Let's do, let's drive home the point. Oh. Seventh root <laughs> of x to the sixth, y to the third, over one. What would I multiply by? Um, x, y to the fourth. Yeah. 
you would multiply it by the seventh root of x times y to the fourth. Why? Because when you multiply those, what do you get? x to the seventh, y to the seventh, right? So you can take the seventh root of that. So you're picking values that you can take the root of whatever your index is, which is 7 in this case. Right? Does that make sense? No? Yeah, now you can go hurry up. Whoa. All right, I still have one more to go over. Sorry. I got to go over this one, and we're running out of time, so I want to knock this out real quick. Oh my god, how does this time fly? Time goes so slowly.